Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. We are going to discuss about photosynthesis, such as the experiments, where does photosynthesis takes place, pigments involved, light reaction, the pathways and photorespiration in a nutshell concept. So let's discuss out. What is photosynthesis? In green plants, they carry out photosynthesis. It is a physical chemical process by which they use light energy for the synthesis of organic compounds. And the green plants synthesize their own food and all other organisms depend on them. So the green plants are called autotrophs. And the photosynthesis is important due to two main reasons. They are because it is the primary source of food on earth and it produces oxygen into the atmosphere so let's look some of the experiments conducted in photosynthesis are the chlorophyll light carbon dioxide are required for photosynthesis to occur next is about carbon dioxide was required for photosynthesis and this experiment was done by joseph Priestley. he performed a series of experiments and revealed the role of air in the growth of green plants next is by jan ignatius and he showed that the sunlight is essential for the plant process and the green part of the plant release oxygen next is by julius von sachs he provide evidence that the green plants that is in chloroplast where glucose is made and the glucose is usually stored as starch next is by engelmann and he described the first action spectrum of photosynthesis next experiment was a milestone contribution to the understanding of photosynthesis made by the microbiologist cornelius van neel and he demonstrated that the photosynthesis is a light dependable reaction in which hydrogen form a suitable oxidizable compound based on the studies in purple and green sulfur bacteria so as a result in green plants water is the hydrogen donor and it is oxidized to oxygen in purple and green sulfur bacteria, H2S is the hydrogen donor and the oxidation product is sulfur or sulfate. So from this study, he inferred that oxygen is evolved by the green plants from water and not from the carbon dioxide. As a result, overall process of photosynthesis is represented in the equation as Carbon dioxide reacted with water in presence of light give glucose, water and oxygen. This is the equation. Where does photosynthesis take place? Photosynthesis takes place in green leaves. In green leaves there is a mesophyll cells and large number of chloroplasts align along the wall of the mesophyll cells in order to get the optimum quantity of incident light. And this is the structure of chloroplast. Chloroplast is a double layered membrane in which it consists of stroma lamella, grana, stroma, the thylakoids, etc. So in chloroplast the fluid in a membranous space is called the stroma and in stroma a number of flattened membranous sacs are called thylakoids and the thylakoids are arranged in a piles of coins and it is called the grana and uh, the, there is a flattened membranous tubal like structure called the stroma lamella connecting the thylakoids of different grana this is the structure of chloroplast so next is what all are the pigments involved in photosynthesis what is pigment pigment are substance which have the ability to absorb light at specific wavelengths so the color we see in leaves is not due to single pigment is due to four pigments such as chlorophyll a it is a bright or a blue green color chlorophyll b it is a yellow green color and xanthophyll it is yellow color and carotenoid yellow to yellowish orange color so the chlorophyll is the major pigment responsible for trapping light and the chlorophyll B, xanthophyll, carotenoids are called accessory pigments. The role of accessory pigment is to absorb light and transfer the energy to chlorophyll A and protect the chlorophyll A from photooxidation. So next is what is light reaction? Light reaction we know it is directly depend on the light and the product of light reaction is ATP and NADPH. 
so what is dark reaction dark reaction do not directly depend on light but depend on the product of light reactions such as atp and nadph this dark reaction occurs in stroma in stroma the enzymatic reaction incorporate carbon dioxide into plant leading to the synthesis of sugar which in turn forms a starch so let's look into deep what is light reaction what all are the process in light reaction there will be light absorption there will be water splitting there will be oxygen release there will be a formation of high energy chemical intermediates such as atp and nadph so in light reaction the pigments are organized within two discrete photochemical light harvesting complex they are the photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 and in each photosystem all the pigments forming the light harvesting system called as antennae in order to make the photosynthesis more efficient by absorbing different wavelength of light while a single chlorophyll a molecule forms the reaction center and the reaction center is different in both the photosystem let's look in photosystem 1 that is ps1 the reaction center chlorophyll a has an absorption peak at 700 nanometer hence it is called p700 while in ps2 it is having a absorption maxima at 680 nanometer and it is called p680 this is the structure of light harvesting system so we can see here is the antenna molecule and this is the reaction center which is having the chlorophyll a so the antenna molecules absorb a light of particular wavelength and transfer the energy to the reaction center which is having the chlorophyll a causing the electrons to get excited and these electrons are picked by the primary acceptor so this is the overall concept of light harvesting system next is the electron transport here we can see both the photosystems photosystem 2 and photosystem 1 working in a series so let's look in photosystem 2 this is a reaction center which is having a chlorophyll a this chlorophyll a absorbs a particular wavelength of 680 nanometer so the electron get excited and these electrons are picked by a primary acceptor and then transfer the electron to a electron transport system which is con consisting of cytochromes and then transfer the electron to ps1 so here this is the reaction center of ps1 which is having a chlorophyll a and this chlorophyll a absorbs a wavelength of 700 nanometer and get excited and the electrons which is get excited are picked up by an another electron acceptor and then move downhill which is having a higher redox potential which reduces nad plus 2 nadph so this is called the iset scheme of light reaction so in this electron transport we will have a doubt how does the ps2 supply electron continuously so this is achieved by splitting of water splitting of water into hydrogen electron and oxygen so here the oxygen form as one of the net product of photosynthesis and moves out of the chloroplast and the electron moves to ps2 so splitting of water is associated with the ps2 and it is located in the inner side of the thylakoid membrane so the final output in electron transport is the formation of atp and nadph cyclic and non cyclic photophosphorylation before that what is phosphorylation phosphorylation is a process through which atp is synthesized by cells and what is photophosphorylation photophosphorylation is a synthesis of atp from adp and inorganic phosphate in presence of light so when two photosystem work in a series first ps2 and then ps1 it is called non cyclic photophosphorylation and here the two photosystem are connected to a electron transport chain and the net product will be atp and nadph the process that we see in previous slide represent the non cyclic photophosphorylation
so what does cyclic phosphorylation in cyclic phosphorylation only ps1 is functioning the electrons are circulated within the photosystem and phosphorylation occurs due to the cyclic flow of electrons and this cyclic phosphorylation occurs in stroma lamella and the cyclic phosphorylation occurs in wavelength beyond 618 nanometer and the excited electron is circulated back to ps1 complex through electron transport chain and the cyclic flow result only in the synthesis of atp because the stroma lamella membrane like ps2 as well as nadp reductase enzyme so that nadph is not produced where are the atp and nadph is used ATP and NADPH is used in the synthesis of sugar which takes place in dark reaction. And what about oxygen? Oxygen formed by the splitting of water diffuses out of the chloroplast which is one of the most important net product of photosynthesis. So next is the dark reaction dark reaction we will discuss in next video so if you like this section please like and subscribe my channel stay tuned for upcoming uploads thank you